Now, the last thing I want to do before exporting my video is zooming out of my timeline. My music goes on for way too long. So I'm just going to drag it here to end with the rest of the video. And then I'm going to go up to the top right and click on export. Here I can change the name of the video, where on my computer it's going to export to. I can change the resolution, the bitrate, codec, format, and frame rate. And I can turn on optical flow as well, which is like frame generation and smoothing. It's really good for slow-mo. I'm not going to use it for this project, but it is pretty cool. You can sync exported videos to a space. If I scroll down, I can also change some of the audio settings, GIF, captions, and whether or not I want to check for copyright. Before I hit export here in the bottom right, I can click on this button here that says edit cover. And I can find a frame in my video by using the slider, say maybe th this one right here. And then I click on edit. And it opens up almost like a miniature version of Canva or Photoshop. And I'm able to design a thumbnail directly in CapCut before I export. On the left hand side, you have different templates, design, you can upload stuff. Add text, shapes, stickers, different frames, a collage, or even a brand kit. I think this template here looks pretty cool, so I'll click on it. And it will add my face to the little circle here. It has some different text for me to change out. So I could change this to say, zoo vlog, and then change the text to say, with Caleb. And I'll delete the get text here. So there we go, we got zoo vlog with Caleb. And then if I click save, gonna go ahead and save my beautiful thumbnail and I can click export. And when I export the video, it's going to export both the video and this thumbnail that I designed. So let's click on export here and it's gonna work through the export process. All right, we're here today at the Cameron Park Zoo in Waco. And there we go, our video is now done. We can directly share it to TikTok and YouTube. And it's also going to automatically generate a TikTok video size for our video. All right, we're here today at the Cameron Park Zoo in Waco, Texas. It's been around since 1993. This is pretty cool that it does this. It's obviously gonna have some issues here and there because it's AI going through your footage, trying to figure out what to center. So I would recommend obviously going in and doing this yourself. I'll click cancel here. And looking at our video, we have an absolute masterpiece from Caleb's day at the zoo. I really hope that this video taught you everything that you were hoping to know about CapCut. And don't forget to use the link at the top of this video's description to sign up for CapCut. And if you want access to all of CapCut's AI features, templates, assets, and more, make sure you upgrade to CapCut Pro.